Let's explore! This week we explore Stannon House in Tenterfield and then we go into the town itself to explore the birthplace of the nation. Do you know that uh, they call this town as the birthplace of the nation because of the Federation yeah, speech? Yeah. Uh, Sir Henry Parks, uh, written as a speech in this room. This is the other original chair from the original owners who built the house. Okay, this is a 300 year old fireplace. The house started being built in 1880 and finished in 1888. The original owner brought in architects from Italy, hence why there is a 300 year old marble Italian fireplace. Each room was lovingly restored and decorated by the previous owner and we had an awesome time wandering around taking in all the detail. This carpet here came straight out of Windsor Castle in the fire sale. This is the blue room. So much pretty stuff to take in in every room. This is the Josephine room. Two single beds. Lovely dresser. And a lovely four poster bed in lovely shades of mauve and a beautiful rose on the ceiling. Yep. <sighs> this is the view from the very top observatory Stratum House. It is apparently the highest point in Tenterfield. It's a little bit steep. I would call it a ladder. <laughs> okay, you ready to go down the ladder? <laughs> yeah. Into the dark dungeons. Yep. This is the creaky staircase. Nice little place to relax. Tenterfield. Three rooms on this place and then another one up near the bathrooms. We'll show you our bathroom in a minute. On the second floor there is this uh, common area with a tea and coffee making facilities and a place to sit and chill. This is our bathroom. It is not connected to a bedroom, but it is our bathroom privately to use. Nice heritage feel about it. Basic, but it does what it needs to do. This is the view from our bathroom window. Looking at the setting or the just set sun. Motel below us. In the hills off to the distance. Oh, there's a nice uh, tree over there. It's, called, uh, it's a heritage one. Over oh, 100. really? It, yeah, that uh, one uh, is a heritage one. It's 120 years old. Wow. Yes. Yeah, oh, the corner. How did you find Stanham House? It's a beautiful place. Beds are a bit hard to get used to. Yeah, the four poster bed, very board like. Yes. <laughs> and the other two? Very spongy. <laughs> and what about how they made the bed? Hmm? <laughs> short sheeted it. <laughs> yes, all of the beds were short sheeted by about six inches. Oh, yeah. 27 inches. Yeah. So we're going to head down and have some breakfast. We'll take you with us. And we're going to leave our room so that we don't have to come back up because it's we're going to get an early start today, seeing as neither of us slept real well. And um, we've, got a lot of driving to do. we've got some driving to do and the sooner we get to our last destination today, the better. The better. <laughs>
Before we get to our next destination, we've got Tenterfield to explore. great buffet breakfast before we hit the road in this magnificent dining room and if you felt like it you could shop for some knickknacks <music> Tenterfield Railway Museum it's closed at the moment due to COVID. I think a lot of things out here are waiting for the um, tourism to build back up. Heading up to Mackenzie Lookout. We are at Mackenzie Lookout. Up above Tenterfield. And we just had some goats up here. So we've seen an unfriendly snake, three kangaroos, and three goats this morning. And it's not even nine o'clock. Nice little picnic areas. And um, there is a toilet facility as well over behind Phil. The only thing better than seeing a place from above is to go and explore in the town. The Tenterfield Saddler. Peter Allen, who was a famous Australian performer, was born in Tenterfield and his grandfather was a saddler. And he wrote a song in his honour that became a worldwide hit. And this is the Tenterfield Saddler building. This is George Wool now who was Peter Allen's grandfather and who was the Turnerfield Saddler. For 52 years he sat on this veranda making his saddles. This building was a, a plot of ground was originally bought in 1858 for 32 pounds by Stuart Donaldson who then went on to become the first Premier of New South Wales. There's so much amazing architecture in Tenterfield. We had a great time just wandering the main street, taking in the buildings and reading the billboard. This is the School of Arts. This is where Henry Parks gave his Federation speech. And that's why it's called the Sir Henry Parks Memorial mm. School of Arts. Mm. and all the information about the building. If you liked what you saw today, why not hit that like button? Hit the subscribe button and ring that little bell and you'll be notified of our upcoming videos. Join us next week as we take our Northern New South Wales road trip to the coast. We can share. <laughs> as always, thanks for joining us. Travel, Travel brilliantly. brilliantly. Bye. Bye. If you liked what you saw today and you want to see more, check out our Northern New South Wales road trip playlist. Until next time.